Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I've got a Dollar Tree haul for ya. And I'm using my crazy cat lady mug that says, I decorate with cats. Ooh, speaking of, here's one. That was Wellington. I've got some vanilla coffee. It's Monday night. About 7.45, got a late start. The lighting is weird in my living room. Um, so I wait till it gets darker outside. Nobody cares. All right, I got a pretty decent sized haul here. Nothing is in any specific order. So I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out. I'll show you what I got. Um, the one thing I got that I enjoy, I used them already, are these multi-purpose wipes for your car. No surprise, I'm a coffee drinker, and I tend to dribble coffee in my cups area, and this is great. It gets it's just, it's, they're very moist, which is what I like about that. Moist. Oh, I said moist. People don't like moist. Oh, well. It's moist. They're nice. I like those a lot. Um, now, I will tell you, if you leave them in your car, they do dry up pretty quickly, but hey, Jeff. Um, let's see. I found for spring the metallic cupcake liners. You do get 18 pieces, which is really odd to me because you either make 12 or 24 cupcakes. 18 is just an odd number, but whatever. Um, so I got these, the teal and the hot pink. I'll make cupcakes or something and take them to work for my coworkers. Oh, I got some gum. Um, okay. Next bag. And these are all of our different tricks. I found it's a jumbo garden bag. And I feel like you're supposed to use it in your garden for dirt. And that's what I'm going to do in the spring when I change my plants. I have a bunch of plants that need repotted this year. So I'm going to use this for the old dirt and just take it to the curb and my trash man will take it. Or I'll drag it into the woods and dump it. It's fine. But um, I'm hoping it works. So I grabbed one of those. Um, for my co-worker's little boy, I got him another puzzle. Actually, there's two in here, but this is the one I got him. He says he doesn't really like all the white space. He has a hard time with that. And I said, just sit down and work with him. Right, Bracken? Hi, Bracken! So I hope he likes this one. Look at the big robot. I feel like, oh, there is a dinosaur in here. A dinosaur and a ball. Oh, so cute. So I need to take that to work tomorrow for little Bracken. Um, more receipts. Got to keep your receipts, guys. All right. I picked up for Sarah's Easter basket some of these little garden. You just write on them what they are with a Sharpie if she decides to plant something. Or she can put little notes in her plants. Not Nothing big. Um, I did grab some more craft beads for decorating and things just all the fun things right because that's what you do and I like these colors so I grabbed those for my craft stash um I need to take this to work tomorrow too I got us some um, St. Patrick's Day garland it's green with the gold shamrocks for our office and oh I grabbed him because he is adorable a little leprechaun do, 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 with, and he's got posable um, appendages. I'm wondering though if you could after St. Patrick's Day pop these off and use these in the crafts. They're just like little things. But anyway, I got a leprechaun for our office. His legs are posable too. So cute. So I'll take that to work tomorrow as well so we can decorate. I got another mystery. It's lip balm. And it can be one of any different flavor. It doesn't say. It just says um, collect all five. And it's a mystery lip balm. I love lip balm. So I thought that would be super fun. I, oh, yeah, right there, buddy. I got Sarah some Job's fertilizer for her plants. <laughs> Alex is at the window. Uh, for her Easter garden they're really for house plants she's not a gardener she does house plants but so that'll go in her easter bucket which i may need to get a bigger bucket i'm thinking the watering can will be fun um and then for crafting i grabbed these now these are already cut if 
you can see the separation in here. I like these, they're not as messy. And we're gonna do that topiary, but this is one of the things I needed. So I grabbed that. And then at my store, they had a six pack of just the small foam brushes in the Crafter Square section. Um, and I use these more than the big ones. So I thought this is perfect instead of getting the eight in the hardware section that has the really big ones. And these have really nice handles on them. So I grabbed those for crafting. So, uh, let's see what else we got over here. I got a kitty over here, don't I? All the bags, guys. All the bags. I need to start bringing my recyclable bags in with me. Um, okay, I found this, and this is a fun pattern. I'm taking them to work tomorrow for our calendars, but look at the cats. Cats, and these are puffy stickers. Cats with glasses, cats without glasses. Oh my God, they're so cute. And we have big wall calendars, so I've been bringing stickers in for us to put on our calendar, and I thought, these are fun. I mean, they're not like St. Patrick's Day, but they're fun. I need to look upstairs, see if I have any St. Patrick's stickers. Then I found, please wait for it. Can you see the glitter on him's little face? Ah, he's not a black cat, but that's okay. He has on glasses and that makes it better. It's just table decor. This is a pretty hefty piece of, I think it's MDF. I might for, for Halloween paint the back black and just, you know, rotate it and get that off and paint him like a black kitty with white whiskers. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I love this and it's going to go on my desk at work because it's a kitty. I love kitties. Right here. I got you. Here's Mr. Wellington. His name is really not Mr. Wellington. His name is Wellington. Actually, technically, his name is Beef Wellington. Uh, my predecessor cat to him that I got back in the 90s, I want to say. Yeah. was We adopted him when he was a kitten as well. Brought him home. My roommate, Arthur, is a meat cutter. And he's like, he looks like an Angus cow. So we named him Angus Beef. And he was a hunter outdoor cat, not a lap cat at all. I mean, he kind of had an attitude problem, but I still loved him. So when I got Wellington and his markings were almost the opposite, really, we decided we needed to honor Angus. So we named him Beef Wellington. And it's very formal and he has a tuxedo on. So I think that's appropriate, right? Okay, thank you. I mean, that's just kind of how I roll. I picked up some food things. Um, again, we've talked about this. I'm not prepping. And part of my anxiety is I'm on, at the bank that I work for. I'm on the business con business continuity plan, meaning if a natural disaster, a pandemic, any type of something would happen, our building burned down or we couldn't get in or there was internet issues, could we focus and function as a business unit for 60 days is really the ideal. So my, today I had a meeting and we were talking about illness and pandemics and Ohio has their first three diagnosed cases. So it's kind of getting close to home and I'm just getting a little anxious. So I did order from the cats, here my neighbor's dog, uh, from Chewy. I got some cat litter, like extra cat litter because they'll, they'll deliver that to your door. Um, some cat, extra cat food and a new litter pan. They needed that and some extra treats just so we have what we need. But anyway, so I got some Tyson chicken breast. I think it's chicken breast. Premium chunk chicken. It might not be chicken breast. Yeah, it is. Okay, so two cans of chicken breast. And then they had bumblebee tuna. So I grabbed three packs of that. This stuff is so shelf stable. And I don't have a lot of shelf-stable food. And this is a product of Thailand. It's good until August of 22. And this chicken is good by to November of 22. And this is fine. I mean, I will eat chicken salad and tuna salad anytime. But for now, I'm just trying to grab things that fit my keto lifestyle that I can put on my shelves and have in case of that I get sick or if I get 
so what's the matter baby self-quarantined if i come in contact with somebody like you just gotta have food in your house when you live alone so i'm starting to just small things collecting them when i see it okay end of my paranoia uh for sarah i got her a sarah's my niece i get that question a lot she is my niece and she's 28 um and i grabbed her some chocolate for her basket because it's easter right if you want to know her buckets over here or basket and then for work again with this concern we're trying to bring in packaged foods and not homemade stuff um i'm gonna make easter candy for everybody so i grabbed the tootsie roll easter eggs so they're just tootsie rolls coated with a little hard chalk uh like an m m coating i don't know how many are in each bag like 15, 18, so I grabbed two bags so everybody would have at least two of the, these eggs, and they're staying in here. And then I have several people on my team who love these um, ducks, chicks, and bunnies, and these are also individually packaged, and there's 20. And these, so I got two of these, and these will all fit in like eggs or some type of a little container for some Easter candy. So I started collecting that at um the dollar tree and then i'll get some candy other places but for now i found these i love these for my refrigerator and for my makeup beauty stuff and craft projects really these would be fantastic if you had a small project and you just wanted to keep all the supplies together put them in here and stick them on a shelf like that would be perfect i use them more in my refrigerator um to put like snacks and stuff in and things that might get messy i prefer to wash this than wash my glass shelves um so we'll see what they get used for but when i see them i tend to grab a couple um and i actually might end up using one of these i need to go through all my pens and just collect what pens i'm keeping in one of those so i grab two if you haven't noticed i'm a two kind of person uh, my store got in the ponds. The blue bottle is, let me just look how many minutes, 12 minutes, is Ponds Facial Foam Cleanser. And uh, wet your face, you wash your face. And then they had the Pure Detox, which is the black one. And it's also a facial cleanser. Here's what's great about these. Um, it's only 1.7 ounce so these are carry-on friendly for the TSA if you travel a lot or planning a trip coming up you know come here baby here is I don't know why he's at the door crying he doesn't even go outside these are great to throw in a carry-on bag um, I do have a trip coming up but it's not till next year I don't these are Unilever I mean these are obviously name brand I don't know with my sensitive skin how much perfume is in here? I'll have to do a little research and try to see. But they do smell like there's a fragrance, which is not necessarily a bad thing for me, but I have to be careful. Anyway, these are great for travel. All that to say. I got some pawns. Good for travel. Right, Alex? Yeah. I have one cat laying on my legs. And then the other thing I got, guys, I'm kind of obsessed. And I don't know if I need to go get more. These are from Body Benefit Bath. So this is not a Dollar Tree brand. I'm going to open one, I think. Yes. Yeah, this is not a Dollar Tree brand. I want to open it. I grabbed two. I'm a two person. But, um, ooh, okay, I'll leave that in there for now. There, a, oh, look at this. These, yeah, these are nice. I need to go buy some more. Um, they say on the front cleanse. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. There's a rubber that'll hook it. It says cleanse on this side and exfoliate on this side. And it's like a loofah. Um, you know, I do use the puffies, but this side here is so smooth and soft. It is the softest fabric ever and then this side is you know to exfoliate your skin i don't do my face back to my skin is sensitive but i definitely do my body and i love it and this is awesome and when you're done with this towel this comes off all the way if you want to wash it or whatever it comes out so you don't have to wash it with this rubber thing but this would be great to hang anything in the shower or to court um 
this rubber thing to put all of your electronic cords together when you're done with this washcloth. And then it just says, hang it up. Features an adjustable storage loop. These are nice. I may have to stop tomorrow and grab a few more because these would be fantastic Christmas presents. Like in a gift basket with some shower gels and whatnot. It is not a Dollar Tree brand. I can tell you that. Yeah, these are fantastic. So I need to go get some more of those. Um, I got it in this blue color and I got it in this teal color. And it even says for your body. Um... I think these would be great to travel with, too. But this is so soft to do your face and your... <gasps> Get it together, girl. Okay, but let's start thinking about holidays, guys. This would be the perfect Christmas present for a stocking or, you know, like I said, to go in with some body wash or whatever. It is definitely not Dollar Tree. It's Body Benefits. And it's gentle to moderate exfoliation. So we have those. Oh, I'm obsessed. I need to go back and get some more of those. Let's put some stuff away. I have one more bag. And then there's not much in here. Okay, the last bits that I picked up, I grabbed a clipboard. Look at that, isn't that pretty? To put my um, cross-stitching patterns on, honestly, is why I got this because then it's easier to just stand it up near where I'm at. It's an easy peel. I'm seeing if it's truly easy peel. It is peeling easy. It's almost an easy peel. No, there's a bunch on here. I'll have to work on getting it off. Not an easy peel, Dollar Tree. You know I'm a little obsessed with labels, right? Okay, anyway. So I'm going to use this clipboard to hold my cross stitching pattern while I'm working on it. And then I can take my highlighter, which is what I do for my cross stitch. And I also do the same thing for knitting patterns is I photocopy them for my own personal use, but I write on them and I don't like to ruin the actual pattern that I purchased. Um, so I have my next project. I need to... I may even take it to work and scan it and email it to myself so I can work on my phone, but um, the working copy will go on a clipboard. So I grabbed one of those. And then for my little buddy, Bracken, hi buddy. I grabbed him this puzzle and it's the alphabet and it's adorable. And these are ages three and up. She, um, Adrian tells me, that's his mama, that he he's enjoying them. So I thought, you know, for one dollar, let him have some fun with some puzzles. They're fun. So I got to take those for him tomorrow to work. And then the last thing I got, and I got to figure out how to hang this at work for like a break or some stress. It is a three foot wide poster. Word search. What? Hang it on the wall. How fun would that be for like a stress break? Hey, you got five minutes. Go work on the puzzle. Go find some words or whatnot. I just think that would be super fun at work. We're always looking for, my toenails peeling. We're always looking for, you know, little stress breaks, but this is gigantic. And word searches are pretty easy as far as, you know, I don't like a crossword puzzle. I'm not going to lie. What did I do to my... Yesterday, I know what I did. <laughs> so, you know, I've been complaining about my knee. And I thought it was getting better. And yesterday when I left the Dollar Tree, I stepped off the curb and my knee said, nope. And bang, down I went. Scraped up one knee and I roughed up my toenail inside my shoe, of all things. But whatever. All right, everybody. That is... I think all of my finds I hope you enjoyed and you get out there and find some fun stuff too um, if you haven't like subscribe and share we are like 10 people away from hitting 10,000 oh, oh, oh. all right guys have a good one and I will talk to you later bye